My name is Ahad Raza, and today I'm going to teach you about taking the ball early as a way of disrupting your opponent. Now, this video is more geared towards the advanced player, but let me give you a sense of what I'm talking about. I see lots of players who move really fast, especially into the front of the court, and they get onto the ball nice and early, but then when they actually go hit the ball, they're not hitting it early. In fact, they're trying to take time away from their opponent, but because they let the ball then get behind their body, not only are they showing their opponent what they're doing, so their deception goes out the window, but they've now given their opponent all this added time to recover because they're hitting the ball late. Let me give you an exact demonstration of what I'm talking about. Imagine someone's played a boast out of the back corner and they're stranded, falling over. What a lot of players will do is that they'll accelerate onto the ball, but then they'll let it get behind their body and they'll try to play a drop shot from this position. What I'm here to teach you today is how to take the ball out in front. There are a few things you have to think about. Number one, a lot of players traditionally think about curving their way into the front corner. If you want to take that ball nice and early, you cannot approach with this curve. You have to take a direct line to the ball. If I'm here and let's Let's say the ball's in front like this. I want to just approach it here and then put it in. So approach at this 45 degree angle going into that front corner and then take the ball out in front of your front foot in a direct line. If the ball's out in front of me, I'm reaching forward and I'm putting it in out in front of my body. All of the duration from here to here, that split second of time that I would give my opponent suddenly gets taken away. And my opponent is probably gonna be an extra foot or foot and a half further back in the court, even if they're coming at full speed because of that slight variation in my contact point. Second key area where people give too much time to their opponents is in the mid court. I imagine I'm on the short line, my opponent's behind me, they've hit something loose. A lot of people when they go for the volley don't step forward. You don't need to step forward this way, but even partially forward at a slight angle and then take the ball out in front of your body. What most people do instinctively, their first step is back and then they try to volley when the ball's a bit behind them. You can imagine the difference between taking a ball here and here, fractions of a second, but that much space is significant when someone's already under pressure. What I would encourage you to practice is when you are on the tee, try to step forward and take balls on the volley instead of stepping back and taking the ball on the volley. When you're practicing this, make sure you just give yourself easy feeds and then practice a step forward. You can start off in a relatively neutral position, feed yourself a ball, and then step forward and put a volley drop in. Not stepping forward and then hitting late. Common mistake is people will go like this, and then hit the ball back here. That's not what we're looking to do. What we want to do is step forward and take the ball out in front of our body. I hope that you gain some value in terms of taking time away from your opponent. If you are fast in terms of your court coverage, definitely reach forward, extend, and try to take time away from your opponent. Develop these skills, practice them. They're gonna serve you well. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Leave a comment. If you'd like more videos, let us know. Take care, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.